have a good day my friends uh, today we are going to look at uh, some of the elements we need to consider when it comes to uh, repair uh, power supply switching mode power supply of a television generally switching mode power supplies are available in LED and LCD TVs mostly therefore um, most repairs coming around uh, is uh, uh, related to the power power failures therefore it is really important for you to know uh, how a uh, switching mode power supply works as well as uh, in practice you need to understand what are the components uh, within within the pcb uh, uh, most importantly uh, it is really mostly important that the fact that the, we are working with uh, 230 volts it is harmful to you therefore the tips i'm giving here not to make uh, those how to avoid from those hazards when it when you are in going deep dive to the power supply From the look of the uh, top side of the PCB, you see different color codings. Uh, there is a white colored patch going through something like this, and uh, it you need to understand that first, like what this means. And also, there is arrow, and it says cold here. <clears throat> now these are really meaningful stuff when it comes to uh, troubleshoot uh, PCB because the there are two sides like cold side and hot side we call it uh, low side as well as high side the what the hot side means it is the high side which is having the voltage above uh, mostly 230 or even above that uh, in case of the switching board power supplies the uh, voltage could be increased more than that and also this demarcation here if you look at clearly uh, the these patches indicate that this is the high side of the system therefore if you touch any of the component there is a risk you are getting into uh, you, you, could, you can get a definitely an electric shock on the other hand, the cold side is really the low voltage uh, side, like it, it has uh, 5 volt, 12 volt, or maximum 24 volts in a smaller LED TVs. But uh, in case of a larger LED TV, it could move to 180 volt or so, also. But uh, yeah, our today's focus is uh, some uh, medium range LED TV, therefore. This side is not that harmful if we get in touch with this component, but uh, this side uh, really uh, has a high voltage. Uh, to explain it uh, more in depth, uh, this is the line capacitor or uh, smoothing capacitor from directly that comes the 230 volt from this slot. You will get passed towards this uh, filter, and after that. Uh, connected to a bridge rectifier which uh, convert AC 230 to DC and after that the smoothing happens through this capacitor therefore uh, there's a 230 or a little more about that will exist here um, which means uh, capacitor getting charged when when you power up the TV even if you switch off the TV and unplug this, this capacitor can contain voltage up to 230. Therefore, in case if you uh, remove this plug and touch it, uh, it would uh, uh, you can get the shock. Then there is a uh, key thing you need to make sure this uh, smoothing capacitor is unsafe, even if it is switched off. After that, this power moves to this uh, this side this is this is the switch inside of the high side which means uh, this has a MOSFET, MOSFET which drives the 
transformers uh, primary side um, with uh, uh, with, uh, with with the switching with uh, kind of uh, at a frequency it oscillates and with that power is controlled through that switching using uh, pulse modulation uh, especially talking about this IC this is a uh, uh, coal most uh, it is an infinian company's IC that IC has uh, inbuilt MOSFET as well as uh, current mode controlled uh, uh, regulator within it which helps the different different operation operation modes that uh, this IC can operate on and uh, with that we get the really smooth voltage as well as switch on switch off behaviors can be controlled easily since this is working on the current mode not on the voltage mode and here you see uh, IC it is actually an optocoupler which uh, gives the voltage feedback to this uh, I see within it, uh, uh, it is optically coupled because hot side and cold side cannot, uh, the two rails, positive and negative rails of hot side and cold side cannot be directly connected. If it connected, the many distortions and harmonics getting generated on the, whatever the side move pass down to the other side. Therefore, to complete, to get the complete isolation, uh, we, Couple, decouple the um, high side and lower side through a uh, optocoupler to get the voltage feedback of the uh, cold side to hot side and depending on the, that feedback the this IC control the how much power should deliver to the output okay so let's a little bit uh, move on to the low side as well if you look at the low side uh, Mainly, you can see some of the smoothing, capa smoothing capacitors, the power smoothing capacitors around because multiple voltages are generated from this switching transformer. For example, these two diodes generate 5 volt. Uh, like uh, the the voltage generated from the transformer is converted by a, via via these two diodes to a smooth DC current, DC voltage, and uh, this diode is also generating a 13 volt and there are some other diodes also which makes the yeah this is uh, one of the other diode which give the power to the uh, uh, LED TVs uh, uh, LED power for the LEDs actually uh, this is around uh, more about to 23 or 24 volts uh, and uh, when we look at the flip side of the PCB, you will see there is a IC sitting here, which uh, drives the, all the LEDs uh, of the uh, all the LEDs of the back panel. We call it like uh, uh, to give the or whatever the lighting for the LCD uh, plates to work. Um, and also brightness control happens to this IC that uh, the volt, the lighting level reduced and increased using this chip. We will look at that later. And uh, yeah, the good thing in Samsung PCBs is so everything is indicated uh, in the board, the voltage level, but the connectors outputs this connector is the uh, gives the power to the video control and remote control and also the sound sound card or sound board and therefore we can easily understand the PCB but the only problem is this model uh, I couldn't find a good uh, uh, schematic uh, for for when, when I troubleshoot uh, therefore some parts when uh, the to troubleshoot some part I had to draw it myself uh, to some of the circuits uh, so that I, I understand I found a course match but uh, it doesn't give the complete picture picture when we troubleshoot um, yeah uh, let's look at the flip side of the PCB as well then that will give more understanding to 
uh, this presentation, I guess.